Welcome to this edition of Owen Dibby Now. Today we have stories about a Holocaust survivor, coverage of the signing ceremony, and this month's Prop Box nominees. Let's get started. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. Last Friday, the freshman class had the opportunity to hear from a Holocaust survivor. Elena Gray has more. Sonia Warsarski owns a tailor store in Overland Park, Kansas. Sonia came to the United States from Poland after World War II when she was liberated from Bergen-Belsen. As a Jewish prisoner in the Holocaust, Sonia experienced horrific things from overcrowded ghettos to gas chambers. Sonia knew the truth of the Holocaust and many wanted to hear her story. And I could not speak about it. I could not speak about it. It took a long time. And I shall never forget, even, you know, it was something funny to laugh. And I could, I always had this, you know, uh, you feel uh, the why, asking why the other didn't survive. You felt a guilt. But one day, I recall when the, the uh, skinheads were saying their voices, it never happened, which even now, Unbelievable. We still have voices denying the Niles. Something came to my brain like a storm, waking me up. Sonia, this is the reason you survived. You have to start speaking. When Sonia decided to become a guest speaker, her and her daughter toured around school sharing Sonia's experience in death camps and how she made it through. To reach the students, to me, you know, we do speak in churches, we speak in in uh, certain companies, any place. But for me, the greatest, you know, joy is to speak to the young people, uh, students in schools. On behalf of all of Lake the Northwest, we'd like to thank Sonia for visiting our freshman Modern World History classes and sharing her story with us. It's hard to believe that our seniors only have two weeks left of school. Last week, they were honored during the senior signing ceremony. Pedro Von Simpson has the story. ONW Senior Signing Ceremony took place last Wednesday in the main gym. Senior Counselor Angie Salava explains what the ceremony is and how it got started. Senior Signing Ceremony is a celebration of uh, everything that the seniors have done to win scholarships throughout their entire high school career. We started this ceremony um, probably about nine years ago really as a way not only to recognize our seniors but also to show underclassmen what their possibilities were. Senior Matt Lawson participated in the ceremony this year and recollects watching it as a freshman. Well yeah, as a freshman when I went to the senior signing ceremony I was like I want to be the kid that has like 12 scholarships on the board and they have to like read all of them out which clearly they didn't do that and I didn't get 12 scholarships but you know it's, it's inspiring when you're younger and you see that and you want to be a part of it. This year's ceremony included many changes. We're doing video montages of the um, schools that people are going to. So instead of just hearing, you know, a group of names and stuff like that, you actually be able to see Harvard or well, Yale or Columbia. Lawson enjoyed the video montages, but was disappointed in other changes. Uh, I didn't like how they didn't uh, recognize you for what you were majoring in or uh, they didn't read off your scholarships, they just had it on the board. This year's senior class stands out as being the first class to attend ONW for all four years, as well as achieving the most scholarships. Prior to this year's class, the record was $10.2 million earned by the class of 2012. As of today, and realize we still have a month left of school, this senior class has earned $14,322,000 worth of scholarships. Congratulations, seniors, on your hard work. For ONW Now, this has been Candace Hayes and Pedro Von Simpson. The Drumline has a show this Friday night. Julie Lindstra has a promo. An instrument is something you can hit or if it makes noise. Well, the name kind of speaks for itself. It's not just drums, it's also other percussional instruments. Drum show is pretty much for all the percussionists in our school, drummers. In our school, we get together and we kind of form this show for the people. 
We just do our own thing and make music. The drum show is a pretty student-led show. It's really just a time for us to use our creativity and put the show on ourselves. Meeting a few acts, basketball, it's one of them. You should come because the show is awesome. I mean, it's not all serious. It's all it's it's a lot of fun stuff. Just gimmicky stuff that people enjoy. We started the drum show when we were freshmen, and it's just been getting better and better. So I'd love to have support for the seniors as it's our last show, and also there will be food. So. Let's take it to Game Day Northwest for the latest Northwest sports. <laughs> Welcome to Game Day Northwest. If you, if you looked across the street, you may have noticed construction crews working on the fields at Seaback. Tyler Sotart has more on what the crews are working on. The College Boulevard Activity Center and the Olathe District Activity Center are renovating the new sports complexes and laying down turf as their new design. Northwest's own athletic director, Jay Novacek, has worked with the landscaping crews personally to figure out what the designs are all about. This past fall, uh, we're building a fifth high school at 135th and Hedge, and uh, part of the bond, uh, as it was written, was upgrades to all of the athletic uh, and activity complexes. While the football fields have made headlines in Olathe, the other sporting fields will be newly turfed for future play as well. This providing accurate and consistent play for every event as well as little to no maintenance. It, it's a safe surface. It's been proven and tested. Uh, throughout the years that it is uh, extremely safe. Um, you don't have to worry about having um, you know, a field that is unsafe for play because of weather. The new design should be completed by this summer and should be ready to go from day one for all sporting teams. This has been Tyler Sotart, now back to the desk. The Northwest boys tennis team is off to a great start, leading the way in this week's Athlete of the Week. Thomas Tong, Joe Kaliga has more. ONW's Athlete of the Week this week is Thompson Tong, sophomore tennis star, breakout compact secret weapon for the Ravens tennis squad. Learn more here with us today. As young as Tong may seem, his experience goes far back. I've been playing since I was eight, but I'm hoping to play all the way to college, going through. Playing against the older people gives me a chance just to learn off of them and just get a chance to also play my best tennis and see where I stand against them, but at the same time, it's the same for kids that are younger than me. Standing at a mere 5 feet 2 inches, Tong finds himself unmatched with many opponents. With my size, I can, I'm, I'm a really fast runner, so I can run on everything. Compared to people that are really big, it's really hard for them to move and bend their knees and just run to the balls. Come support Thompson at your next tennis match. For o and Now, I'm Joe Kaliga. Back to the Last week, the boys' golf team traveled to the Shawnee Mission East Invitational. Parker Thompson was there with the story. The Olathe Northwest golf team competed in the Shawnee Mission East Invitational at Meadowbrook Country Club last Monday. The team competed to the best of their ability and varsity experience was granted to some younger golfers during this tournament. Senior Matt Johnson gives his reflection on the Invitational. Meadowbrook was a different tournament. We sent uh, different players than we usually have. We kind of substituted some players in and out, getting experience from different people. Overall though, it went pretty well. The remaining tournaments will provide a chance for the Ravens to improve and qualify for state as a team and individually. Johnson explains the team's goals for the outlook of the season. This year we'd like to qualify for state as a team. Last year we missed it by only four strokes at regionals, so we only got three guys out at state tournament. The team looks forward to the rest of the season and also to the future of Raven golf. Good luck to the Raven golf team for the rest of the 2014 season. That's it for this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. We will see you all at this Spring Sports Pep Assembly on Friday. Now let's get back to the desk. Robotics team. You guys traveled to St. Louis last weekend. What were you guys competing in? We were competing in the international competition for robotics. And there were 400 teams there. And it was a competition. Um, this year's season was aerial assist. And there was three alliances on each team. And our robot was a defensive robot. That's awesome. You guys win anything? Yeah, I actually got Safety Star of the Day on Thursday. We also won overall safety for the team. And on fr Saturday, we won Engineering Inspiration, which is the top award for the division. That's awesome. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. And let's check out our April Prop Box nominees. 
Dr. Paws and the Four Club are excited to recognize this month's Raven Prop Box nominees. Alejandra Hernandez, Aubrey Schubert, Gabby Baiza, Grace Horvath, Hannah Burdick, Jewel Dion, Caitlin Plasic, Kate Gardner, Keith Shields, Marilyn Walls, Michael Tamer, Paige Nelson, Solomon Flores Artigas, Shelby Clark, Tierra Solomon, Yabetz Tibiu. And top props goes to several students. Gage Calvin, as a new Raven himself, offered to help a new Raven get adjusted to O&W and life in Olathe, Kansas. Hazil Anazola stopped to introduce himself to a new Raven and offered to eat lunch with this student. William Epsi went above and beyond to help a fellow Raven with a math assignment before the weekend. William then followed up on Monday to make sure the homework was done and if there were any additional questions or help needed. Someone overheard Cole Dolkowitz talking to a new student. He stopped to introduce himself and welcome this newest Raven to OW. It was obvious how much this meant to the student. Great job, Ravens. That's it for this month's Pop Box nominees. For OW Now, I'm Molly Murphy. Now that's all we have for you on this edition of ONW Now. For Atlanta Gray, I'm Chloe Cowart. Have a great day, Ravens.